So it's come to some people's attention, uh, uh, my latest video, how to do the text messaging. And so I'm just gonna show you guys how to do that, it's pretty easy. Uh, if you have Adobe After Effects, yeah, Adobe After Effects, if you have Final Cut Pro and stuff like that, there are plugins you can buy. But with After Effects, you can uh, find this and I'll show you. So you wanna open After Effects and when you first open it up with that file, with the messenger file from Rocket Stock, you'll have five different examples show up on the screen right away. Those are the five different types of text messaging that you'll be doing and it's gonna change when you change the different settings up here inside the project folder. And in the project folder, you wanna go in order. So uh, you wanna to go to modify images first and that's like the images right beside the text messaging. So you would double click on person image A and you would copy and paste your image if you wanna use a person's image in the text messaging, if you wish. Uh, and then you go for person B and then you can see and put in there and then fit it to size. Um, then when you want to change the text, it's like in the same as uh, the scene options here, each number corresponds here to a corresponding of the text style. So conversation text style one would be this one, so we would go there. And then you can click, double click on each text uh, in a row. So which one, starting from the top, the text will show up first. So you wanna go to text one and then you can go here and change it and like write how YouTube. And then you can go to the next one. If you want to change the, uh, the size of the box, say there's more text than just one line, you go to the box settings and then you go to effects and then you go to box height and then you change here with the slider and it goes up and down and it can change. So you can do that and then uh, you can close that. And then when you're done uh, modifying all the text that you need, you can go to the scene options and see how it looks so far. And then you can go to timing. Timing is basically uh, when the bubbles show up. So when it first starts, it obviously starts from the bottom here. The blue one will slowly go into focus, then the second one, and the third one, and so on and so forth. You can move those around if you want, but the default setting is pretty good because it gives it enough time to stop. So when you go to and import it into your um, after into your Final Cut Pro or into your uh, Adobe Premiere, you can. Uh, what I do is I cut from I cut uh, right when the, the text shows up. I pause it and I just take a picture, a PNG uh, of that, and let it, uh, and then put it inside the uh, timeline until the next te text is supposed to come in with the other video. So and then I cut that to the point. So then it just keeps going because like rearranging here is a bit tough so and time consuming. And then when you do, uh, then when you want to export it, it's pretty easy. You go to the style that you were working on. You can either choose 1080p uh, style of um, the text or a 720 standard definition. We'll go just to standard HD 1080 and then it'll show up here. You can either crop to the section of how much text you, uh, you did or you can do the whole thing if you want. If you didn't fill, if you didn't fill out, it'll show up the default ones. But you can just crop it to what you want. Let's say six seconds, and then um, and then you want to go to composition, and then add to render queue, and then the render queue will open down here. Go to output module, and you want to go to the format, then go to QuickTime, and then go here to the video output in the channels, RGB alpha and then format just to make sure it's under animation and then you hit OK and then you pick up space to output 2 for this instance we'll just do a test 3 and then that will show up like that and then you hit render and then it renders and then you can use that clip uh, to uh, anything in any uh, in Final Cut Pro or in Adobe Premiere and you can put that on top of the regular uh, video and then cut and paste the way you want it to be. So that's pretty much it. So yeah, there you go.